Hey guys! So, yet again, I am saying long time no see. I wanted to film a video for you, impromptu, that was very near and dear to my heart. Uh, recently, I found out over the months, I don't know if you guys have watched my videos or noticed, but I've been saying, you know, oh, I feel a little under the weather, like, forgive my nasally voice or whatever, this, that, and the third. Um, it's been going on for a while. I've also been mentioned that I've been working a lot, which is why I've been so absent. Um, long story short, finally went to the doctor, took care of myself like I should have. Turns out I need surgery for some stuff going on with my sinuses. Fortunately, you know, minor, outpatient, nothing too crazy, only be out of work for two, maybe three weeks. Um, but I did want to film a video really quick just to encourage all of you guys, and this is minor, you know, but to just listen to your bodies and take care of yourself. Um, nothing is more important than doing that, and you are going to do it the best for yourself if you really do what you need to do for yourself. You know, it took for my sister and my husband and my mom and stuff to really, you know, sit down and talk to me and be honest with me about what I need to do to take care of myself. Um, and you know, that may be different for you, like, and it doesn't need to get to the point where you have to go to a doctor and need surgery or whatever, but it could be something as simple as if you're truly not happy, you know, doing what you're doing, is there an option for you to get another job? Um, if there's a relationship that you're in that's not good for your health, is it like changing your spirit, things like that, like, do whatever it is to take care of yourself because nobody is going to do it for you. Um, fortunately, I do have wonderful, you know, family members around me, and I hope you have the same. Um, even coworkers tell me, like, forget this job, <laughs> like, do what you need to do to take care of your health. So I just want to encourage the rest of you guys to do the same. Go to your doctor's appointments. If you're not somebody who gets sick that often, unfortunately, I am. Um, I also have asthma on top of uh, lymph node disease that affects my lungs, which is also affecting my sinuses. Uh, but, you know, going to your doctor for just an annual checkup, just to make sure everything's still good. Um, if you do have different things that you deal with, whether it's diabetes or asthma or whatever, that you're doing whatever you need to do to take care of that, to make sure that you are, you know, your best self all the time. Um, doing mental checks, so, you know, making sure that you're good upstairs and doing things to, you know, promote your mental health. So doing things that are good for you. I know for me, for a long time, I stopped doing things that I like to do for myself and made me happy, like filming these YouTube videos. So I am committing to, you know, even doing simple stuff like that, not just, you know, listen to my health, going to the doctor like I should, but taking care of my mental health as well. Um, so once I recover from my surgery that I will be having um, in just a week, that, you know, I'm still making sure that I'm taking care of my other health things as well to make sure that I'm doing well in all aspects and doing whatever it is that I can do to be my best self. So I really just wanted to film this video really quick for after going through what I went through, you know, seeing quite a few doctors, finally them telling me like, hey, this is what's going on. Um, there were signs beforehand, like obviously the nasal voice. Um, not really being able to sleep that well, a lot of post nasal drip, um, a lot of mucus, like there's a lot going on inside my poor little sinus area right now, but it will be fixed soon. But you know, I do want to encourage people to take care of themselves and you guys, you know, take care of yourselves because I mean, I could be finding out something much worse. So I am thankful that I finally did take care of it and I had, like I said, my family to encourage that. But I could be finding out something much worse and much later on, and I know that is unfortunately the case with some people with much more serious diseases. I know I've had those, you know, unfortunate circumstances happen in my family, and I preach to them to take care of themselves, do what they need to do, and then I wasn't doing it myself because I was always putting myself, A, low on the totem pole, and B, oh, I'll be fine always, you know, I'll do it tomorrow, it'll be all right, and you just don't want to continue to take, um little things for granted because you never know they could really turn into being big things so um, I will probably update you after my surgery let you see my big fabulous swollen face maybe not yeah maybe not but <laughs> I probably will also do some more videos after I'm starting to feel better I will probably be extremely nasally though extremely they already gave me the heads up that I will be 
quite congested, but being home for a couple of weeks by myself, I will probably be very bored. So, you know, give me some time, free time on my hands to do something that I love since I probably can't partake in too much exercise. Um, I will, you know, do some other things that I love. So I do look forward to getting back into making these videos again. I look forward to taking care of myself and I'm committing to myself to do that going forward, putting myself first before anybody else, because that is very important and I need to make myself a priority. Um, just as much as I would make, you know, my sister or my husband a priority. I need to do that for myself as well. So that's it, guys. Thank you for listening to my public service announcement. I hope you will do something with this information, even if it is something as simple as just going to get yourself, you know, a quick doctor's checkup, tested, whatever it may be. Uh, please do that to take care of yourselves, guys. That's it. Have a good one.